Hey guys, King on X here, and I've got a treat today, and it's the QC 3.0 wall charger from iClever. Now, when QC Quick Charge 2.0 was first talked about and produced, and I believe the end of 2014, it was a glorious thing. Charging your phone super fast was a delight, and a lot of flagship devices were able to take advantage of this technology. Now we're seeing Quick Charge 3.0 come to fruition, and it's supposed to be the fastest charging efficiency available, charging your devices up to 80% in 35 minutes. And it's actually four times faster than a conventional charger. It's also backwards compatible with Quick Charge 1.0 and 2.0, so you can use it to charge your previous devices. So I received this charger from iClever, and I want to test it out on my Note 5 and see if Quick Charge 3.0 is necessary now with no official Quick Charge 3.0 enabled devices or should you just wait and continue to buy QC 2.0 adapters? Now, the charger that came in this little cardboard box with stickers all around, one of which happened to pull off some of the iClever logo, but you can see it does have that Qualcomm branding. You can also glance at the top here and see that this is a 24 watt charger, while the QC 2.0 charger I have is 18 watts, and the Samsung stock adaptive fast charger doesn't say, but by my understanding of physics and electricity, should be somewhere around 15 watts. Inside is where you'll find this little charger with Qualcomm 3.0 Quick Charge thrown in your face. Below that is a hiss card for Amazon reviewers and a specs and info book as well. Now as you can see there is no USB cable included so boo to iClever. On the front of this charger is the female USB port where you have to provide your own USB cable. I'd use the highest quality one you own. And it also has a little small LED light indicator for telling you if you're doing quick charge or standard charge. Quick charge is a green light, standard charge is a blue light. On the back here is your fold out prongs and that's basically it. I mean, it's just a charger. It's also quite smooth as well as being a little more dense in weight and whatnot than my other chargers that I have. So now I'm going to do a little test to compare this to the QC 2.0 charger that I have and the Samsung Adaptive Fast Charger that came in the Note 5 box. I'll be plugging all these chargers directly into my wall outlet and using this Aki 1 meter cable for all the testing. This should keep all of the tests in a somewhat equal environment. First up is the iClever QC 3.0. Now, after 20 minutes from 0%, the QC 3.0 got the Note 5 up to 38% with a remaining battery estimate at about 8.5 hours, which is pretty good. Of course, it's not up to the 80% in 35 minutes quote, but it's close. Now, the QC 2.0 charger. After 20 minutes from 0%, the QC 2.0 charger got the Note 5 to 36% with the remaining battery estimate at a little over 7 hours, which is about an hour and a half less than the QC 3.0, but that could be due to a variety of factors. You can see the difference somewhat between the two of them is negligible though. And lastly, we have Samsung's own adaptive fast charger. After 20 minutes from 0%, the Samsung charger got the Note 5 up to almost 36%, but the battery estimate was even lower at only 6.5 hours, which isn't too much different from the QC 2.0 charger, but it's almost 2 hours different from the QC 3.0. Now again, this wasn't an official test with official tools and calibration, I just did an at-home test and tried to make all the situations the same. But now, as you can see from the results, it looks like the QC 3.0 charger is just barely better than the QC 2.0 charger you have now, especially seeing that we don't have 3.0 devices. 
So, would I recommend getting a QC 3.0 charger right now from iClever or anywhere else? Sure. At least because they're future proof or future ready. And they're backwards compatible, so there's really no reason to look at a QC 2.0 charger unless you find like a good deal or a good hub or just don't plan on changing your phones anytime soon. Although I think the LG G5 will be one of the first phones to be released with QC 3.0 compatibility. What do you guys think about QC 3.0 and the results I just demonstrated? If you're looking to buy this charger or to check out any other iClever tech, click the link below in the description. This particular charger is only about $17, but remember it does not come with a USB cable. So make sure to either buy one from iClever or just have your best cable at home. Sound off below again in the comments what you think and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. This is Keon X. Peace.